Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Susina Sharon. So today we are going to do something totally different. <laughs> I am doing a hair tutorial. Is it a tutorial? For the first time. So please subscribe, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll be reading all of them Kamakawa Ida and if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. With no further ado, let us go straight into the video. I have just wet my hair and the first product I'm going to use is a uh, Buella Gold Cream Conditioner. So I'm going to question. <laughs> so I'm just going to condition my hair first. This is how it looks. And I am just going to apply that all over my hair. So make sure you massage that conditioner onto your hair so the hair absorbs all the product. And then the advantages of using a conditioner is first it helps with moisturizing your hair and then it gives your hair a smoother texture type 4c hair when you're washing your hair please avoid using a lot of shampoo use very very little shampoo because shampoo has a very drying effect when it comes to your hair and you don't want that So after conditioning your hair, allow it to set for at least 20 minutes first before you start detangling. For me, I normally use my afro comb for detangling, but if you have any other, you know, comb that works best for you, I am not a hair guru, I'm just going to show you guys the technique I use for me. And then after you're done combing your hair, you can allow it to set for another 10 minutes before you go rinse off um, the conditioner comes to drying your hair please avoid using your towel it's going to make your hair extra extra dry so um, dry out with uh, something cotton with a very smooth texture like your t-shirt or dera and after that I'm going to moisturize my hair and I normally use olive oil I use olive oil on my scalp and my hair in general I do not have a lot of product guys I am not a hair guru I'm just going to show you how I do mine using the products I have at the moment but make sure you moisturize your hair to the core. Next, to define my curls, I normally use the soft and free gel. And this is how it looks like. And when you want your curls to be very, very defined, make sure your hair is extra wet before you start applying the gel. So wet it to the core first. Don't use gel on dry hair. It's not going to work. Use it on very wet hair. And the gel I'm using is very, very cheap. You can get it anywhere, really. So I'm just going to start off with massaging the gel onto my hair first to give it a little depth before I start defining my curl. And avoid using the gels that have a, a white crust after they dry out. I don't like it. There is this one particular gel that is very, very famous, but it has a white crust. So this soft and free gel does not have that effect. And for defining my curls, I normally just uh, patch out my hair, a small, very, very small segment of my hair, and then apply the gel onto it, and then roll it out and leave it. And then go to the next, and next, and next, and next. So it, it really depends on how you, you want your hair to be defined. If you want it very, very defined, make sure the patch is as small as as tiny as possible and uh, this is going to test your patience because it's going to take a lot of time so be patient and make sure your hair is wet when you're doing this so apply the gel on wet hair please and then keep uh, repeating the process until you get the perfect cult <laughs> if i have to say so keep repeating that same process until you have your desired type of curls Thank you. 
and this is how the cars should be looking after you're done with this whole process and uh, please remember when you curl out your hair your hair is going to become shorter so just prepare for that and you can leave your hair like this depending on how you want to style it yourself but as for me because my hair is shorter on the sides around the sides i just want to um what is it called lay it down on the sides and then um leave the curls in the middle you can use a pain for this but me i'm going to use a rope because uh, it lays it down better and if you're going to use this method please do not tie it too hard it's going to give you a migraine if you do that. And then after that you can pull out the hair at uh, the middle to the front for you to achieve the style I am <laughs> going for today. I don't know what to call it. So yeah. And I repeat I am not a hair guru. So I really do not know how to define, um, is it baby hair? I do not have baby hair myself. I just work with what I have and uh, that is it. And that will be it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video, although I am not a hair guru, but I hope you have learned how to define your cars as an Afro queen. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you on my next video. Please subscribe and bye.